As we continue to cover the coronavirus, we've been talking a lot about stimulus checks. Sydney Eisenberg joins us live from the COVID-19 tracker desk with more tonight. Todd and Naya, we've heard from several viewers who say they're still waiting for that stimulus check. So we've got some advice for them. Now, the IRS has set up a Get My Payment website where you can track where your money is. All you have to do is provide information from your most recent tax return and make sure that your address and banking info is up to date. Now, if you receive Social Security or VA benefits, you'll need to file a special form for non-filers. That can be found on the IRS website. And the Department of Defense has awarded a $126 million contract to 3M to create 26 million N95 masks per month beginning in October. The DOD says the goal is for 3M to produce 312 million masks annually within the next 12 months. The Trump administration is denying reports that the White House Coronavirus Task Force is being phased out at the end of the month. President Trump tweeted the task force would remain, quote, indefinitely and focus on vaccines and therapies. Nationally, there are 1.2 million coronavirus cases with 72,000 deaths. More than 34,000 of those cases are right here in Texas. 948 Texans have died. Over 17,000 have recovered, including 352 from Central Texas. Now today, Brazos County spiked with 13 new cases, bringing its total to 232. Bell County officials are reporting 196 cases, while state officials, which include Fort Hood cases, report 210 cases for the area. McLennan County remains at 92 cases. In the surrounding counties, Coriel added 10 new cases for a total of 190. Leon reports seven cases, while Robertson reports four. Live from the Coronavirus Tracker Desk, Sydney Eisenberg, 25 News.